All right, I'm back. Welcome to Linda's Pantry. Today we're going to make home canned ham and bean soup. And so I got to start out with a sauce to put over it because I'm not just going to pour water over some ham and beans. And you know me, we like spice. So I'm going to put it in my, I call this my pasta pot because it has a basket, but I'm going to put in two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. Okay. And start off with that. And I'm going to pour some water in these cans because I am going to put some water in here. So I'll just pour the water in the can and again in the other can. And then you're not wasting anything that's in there. Everything comes out and your can is clean, ready for recycle. Or as clean as I'm going to get it. I, I kind of. I don't know, I feel kind of funny. Um, so a total of two more cups of water to this mixture. And this may change depending on how much I have, how much I think I'm gonna need. Okay, and in this, this is where I'm gonna put my spices. I want a tablespoon of thyme. Now mind you, this is gonna be for eight pints of soup. So it might sound like that's a lot, but it's not. And I want at least that of parsley, and this is my home dried parsley. Oh, it smells delicious. I'm telling you, that's the best stuff ever. Okay, we need salt and pepper. And I'll go to the um, teaspoon for this, because I don't, I don't really think I need, I'll put two teaspoons of pepper in here. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Kind of. And, yeah, probably have to have more salt. So, three and a half teaspoons of salt. Now we're going to go to the sugar factor. I said I have some demerara sugar here. I'm going to use that. And it's kind of gotten hard. As well as some molasses. Mmm. So let's go with, and this is going to be, I'm going to have to taste it as I go. Let's go with starting with two tablespoons. I don't want it too sweet. And healthy, <laughs> healthy measurement of molasses. Probably a tablespoon and a half, I'm guessing that was. Not too bad. And about a tablespoon of liquid smoke. I want a tablespoon of garlic powder. Uh, now I could use my fresh garlic but I don't really need to because it's there. It's All it has to do is get rehydrated. And then I want Worcestershire sauce. And I'm, I'm guessing that's about three tablespoons right there. Okay, let me get a spoon or a spatula something. Okay, and I can already tell for eight of these, oh, it smells good. For eight of those jars, this is not going to, it's going to be too thick and it's not going to be enough. So we're going to add two more cups of water. Normally I do this on the stove and so I'm tasting as I go. And I am going to add some dried bouillon. Let's make that three more cups of water. And the nice thing about this is if I make too much, um, I can make a, a pot of slow cooked beans or I can save it in the fridge for a week or so for the next canning process, you know, for the next canning project. Or I could choose to do 16 pints because I do have 16 pints in my dishwasher. So this is uh, beef bouillon that I buy um, in bulk and I want to put in, in uh, two, three tablespoons we'll say. I want a rich background to this, but and then I'm going to, I know it sounds weird, I'm going to taste it even though it's cold, nothing's kind of absorbed yet. I want to just get a little bit of a taste of what we might be looking at. Oh 
wow. I like it already. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the stove, bring it up to a boil, taste it again, check for seasoning, and then I'm gonna keep it hot because it's gonna go down over those beans. All right. Okay, we're back and I am getting ready to do these jars. I just got these out of the hot dishwasher and let me tell you, it's hot. I'm gonna put, we're doing that bean, ham and bean soup. And so I'm gonna put a half a cup, because these are pint jars, a half a cup of dried beans. I've rinsed them and I've sorted them and where is my spout? There we go. I've rinsed them and I've sorted them, but, um, you don't cook them or soak them first. You don't have to. It's going to be in that pressure can in 90 minutes. 90 minutes. You just have to know what your water content should be. I will let you know the sauce that I made for this. I had to double it. Actually, a little more than double. Just because the spice wasn't quite right. It was a little too thick. The viscosity of the beans will change. I mean, it's gonna, the starch in there is gonna thicken this. So, that being said, I am now going to, and I'm gonna use my hands just because I can. I'll, I'll grab a glove. But I do wanna tell you, you guys can honest and truly do this recipe any way you like. I just happen to like the ingredients list that I used. So I doubled what I did in the saucepan. I heated it up and let it simmer a little bit. My jars got finished in the dishwasher and now I'm ready to go. So I want some carrots. It's probably a quarter of a cup. If I actually got a little measuring thing out, they would be quarter cup increments, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so we'll do, we'll do this. Quarter cup of carrots. Yep, quarter cup. It's about a handful. So, and I dice these kind of small. I want everything to be a little bit uniform. So I want a quarter cup of onion in each one also. I love onion. Onion, garlic, all that stuff is so good for you. And how easy is this? I mean, truly, you're making homemade soup that will feed your family and just be delicious. And they're going to appreciate you. Mm -hmm. So each one of these jars gets the same thing. And quarter cup of celery. Okay. And now we're going to go to the ham. And I want the same. I want a quarter cup of ham. This is, I bought this ham and this is a budget meal. I bought this ham already diced. I priced ham steaks that were really lean that weren't diced they were the same amount of pa same amount per pound and i thought well i'll just have somebody else dice them then anyway quarter cup of that also um and that's why i put some little smoky background in the sauce but so i added this up and we're gonna make eight pints of soup which would be a single serving in my opinion um, for less than a dollar a piece. It, it's actually, everything that's here cost me $7.50, including the sauce. So um, I'm thinking that it probably is going to break down to um, a little bit different, but we'll find out. Okay, take my glove off there. And then I'm going to ladle in my sauce. My jars are still pretty hot, actually. I'm going to ladle in the sauce. Whoops, sorry about that. Kind of mix it up so you get back to what you were. And you're going to ladle it and make sure that there's no air pockets or anything. This, these beans are going to absolutely absorb all this. I found doing beans that your sauce is probably, should be a little bit spicier than you think. Um, because the blandness of the beans and the starch in the beans um, kind of mellows it out. So it, it's okay if it's a little spicier or a little saltier than you think. Um, I mean, this, is, this has got a really good flavor, very flavorful. 
So I go, actually on beans, I, I go a little bit higher than an inch of headspace, about a half an inch, because you're gonna lose a lot of, of liquid. Unfortunately, that's just the way it works. So now you could stop at three pints and say, okay, I'll just pressure can this in the little pressure cooker and call it good and you'd be good to go. So next what I'm gonna do is make sure that there's no, absolutely no air bubbles anywhere in here. And it kind of mixes things up too. Although it is very pretty all layered. So, but your beans tend to stick to the bottom so it's okay to move them around. See, I mean, I'm already getting some, uh, it's kind of sinking down already. So I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce to each one, not much, about a teaspoon. Now that I've got the air out of there. Pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna wipe the rims and um, ring, or the rims down with uh, either water or a lot of times I use vinegar. Um, and then you're gonna put your lids and rings, which are over in the hot water and um, asbestos fingers, as Noreen would call them. Um, finger tight, and then they're gonna go rest in the canner until I'm done with the rest of these. So I'm getting ready to put the last jar in the canner. And these are pint jars, so these are gonna pressure can for once they come up and I vent this canner for 10 full minutes and let it really get all the air out and everything and get up to pressure, it's gonna can for 75 minutes. So an hour and 15 minutes in pints. And that's all there is to it, really. It's gonna vent out of that top hole. Okay, this lid doesn't feel right to me, so I'm taking it off. I'm gonna see what's going on. Everything seems okay. Make sure that I store the, uh, the lid with the rubber lubed up with some kind of oil and that this hole is clear and that this will come up and down and you're good to go. So I'll bring you back when it's all done. And that's as simple as it could possibly be as far as canning your own home canned ham and bean soup. I just thought, it's kind of noisy in here because I got two canners going today. I just thought I'd come back and bring you what happens at our house on a real regular basis. And, um, man, it's just is so rewarding. Over here on this side, I have our ham and bean soup. And on this side, I have pints of uh, chili beans. We did the quartz with chili beans, and I thought, you know, I might like a little smaller version. And so anyway, we can use them as a side dish or make a smaller batch of chili if we want to. I just thought I'd bring you back to the noisy part of this. For, um, let's see, this one's got, this one here has 31 minutes left, and this one will be done at 5.40. That's how I have to do it. I only have one timer in here. I was trying to use my cell phone, but it just wanted me to take a nap for 30 minutes. And <laughs> Anyway, I didn't want to do that. So um, we're going to bring you back when I'm, they're all settled down and calm. And I'll bring you back and show you what I got. 16 pints of food here, folks. All right. All right, you guys. We're coming back, and this has been pressure canning for 75 minutes and come down off of pressure. This pot was first back here and so now I've got this pot which was left, ow, which was last and it is ready to take the lid off. I mean the valve back here or whatever you want to call it, it is down and has been resting like that with no pressure for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna pull this pot off the stove and bring it over here. 
and we'll bring the other canner up here. These were the um, ham and bean soup that I canned, and they look absolutely beautiful. These have been resting for quite a while longer. I don't, I don't see a need to, you know, mess with them if I don't have to. So we're gonna bring these out. There's eight of them. And you're gonna find, because I did fill the jars a little more full because the beans and everything absorb so much liquid, um, that you will find more of liquid residue, as it were, in the water that's in the canner, left in the canner. It doesn't mean that your jars aren't going to seal. It just means that, you know, they had to, I mean, it gets up to 240 degrees in there. It's boiling. So it's all good. Don't worry unless your, your seal fails. And then, then you got something to talk about. Otherwise, don't worry about it. So we have eight pints of ham and bean soup. And I'm not sure, it's more like ham and beans, not necessarily soup. So you probably have to add water to that, it looks like. Um, but it is beautiful. So now I'm gonna take the lid off this canner and I always, always wanna lift it away from me because that facial isn't anything you wanna have. And I'm going to leave this sitting here because they should, it should sit and rest in the canner. I'll bring one out just so you can see. These are the chili beans um, done with the pinto beans and this in a pint size. So again, you're going to have some residue in the canner, but that's okay. And I'm going to leave that just rest in the canner. I don't want to bring them out and shock them. If you shock these jars into a cool environment, they could crack and break, and then I've wasted all my time and effort. So I hope this inspires you to try some canning projects. Um, put away for your family. Make it a family project, whatever you have to do. Um, this is a very rewarding thing to do for your family and for your lifestyle and get back to basics. All right, YouTube. God bless.